Handy resource indeed, your field guide. You'll see it was a mistake parting ways with me. Glad you came. Where they go. This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring. The collars they were wearing. I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. That's a good idea. We need to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. I'll let you know when I have news of her location. Hello, Sorona. I received your owl. How are you? Hello, my friend. Did you ever find Lord Gog? I did, thank you. We had a good conversation. He sends you his best. Glad to hear it. I shan't ask for details of your little chat, and I'll refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. But I hope you will be, whatever your plans. I... of course. Your owl mentioned you're needing my help with something? I do. I thought you might be just the person to do a favour for my friend Dorothy Sprottle in Upper Hogsfield. Hmm. I don't believe I've met Mrs. Sprottle. She's lovely. Her late husband, Aidan, was a friend of my father's. In fact, I'd stay with Dot and Aidan the summers I waited tables here as a student. I've seen her a few times since Aidan passed, but the pub's been so busy lately, I've not been as attentive as I'd have liked. I wonder if you might pop in and see her. She may need some help collecting ingredients for her supply of Wigan World potion. And you could retrieve something of mine in the process. A box, um, full of old letters and such. I'll try to go and see her when I can. It would mean the world to me, and to Dorothy. Aidan was bringing the box of letters to me when he was taken ill. Dot can tell you where he might have dropped it. You'll find the hamlet just north of Hogsmeade. Please do give Dot my love. Ah, up a Hogsfield. Now where to find Mrs. Sprottle? Oh, Bardolph thought dark magic was the answer. I reckon Rookwood's played a hand in his disappearance. Hello, Mrs. Sprottle. Actually, Serona Ryan asked if I'd come and see you. Oh, dear Serona, a gem has been for as long as I've known her. She thought you might need help collecting ingredients for your Wiganwell potion. And she's correct. My darling Aidan used to collect hawk lumps for me. Since he died, my supply has dwindled. I'm sorry for your loss, Mrs. Bottle. Oh, thank you. Love of my life. A bit lost without him. If you wouldn't mind gathering some hawk lumps for me, I'd be happy to compensate you for your time. I can certainly try and find some for you. That would be wonderful. I'm worried about the travelling vendors and would love to get the more Wiganweld potion. Serona also mentioned that Mr. Sprottle was bringing her a box of letters when he fell ill. Indeed he was. I'd almost forgotten. I stumbled upon it just before Aidan died. He was hoping to go through it with Serona over a butterbeer or two. Uh, those two were always like two bow truckles in a branch. Aidan took ill when he was collecting hawk clumps on his way to see her. He made it home, but I fear he dropped the box in the cavern. The cavern is in the hills just southwest of our hamlet. You can gather hawk clumps and collect the box of letters there. Thank you, Mrs. Brottle. Thank you. I'll be here if you are able to collect those hawk clumps. 
I, and the vendors I help, would greatly appreciate it. This could prove dangerous if we're not careful. This must be the cavern Mrs. Sprottle mentioned. Let me out, son! It's been ages since I've found anything worth the boss in here, Blackcroft. The boss in the Kinfrinko! Expelliarmus! Oh, what? The boss in Let's have a look around, see if I can find that box of letters. That's at least one hawk lump. Getting there. Just a few more little crumbs to harvest. Either I'll have to fight that troll, or we'll be together. Clump to harvest. That's all the whole clumps for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased. Protego! I think that's everything. So run. Better have a look around. See about the hawk clumps and the bottles of letters. Hmm. 
Either I'll have to fight that troll, or avoid it altogether. This must be Sorona's box of letters. I should find Mrs. Sprottle. She'll be glad to get these hawk lumps. This looks intriguing. Bardo Beaumont should have returned by now. Had by dark wizards he was. Hello, Mrs. Sprottle. I have good news. I was able to harvest some hawk lumps for you, and I found Sorona's box of letters. Oh, thank you. How wonderful. The travelling vendors will be thrilled to replenish their stock of wig and weld potion. And Sorona will be delighted to have those letters. How kind of you. Now you be careful heading back to Hogsmeade. I should take this box of letters. Hebridean dragon friend, where to return her, you know what. Meet me in the town circle in Hogsmeade. I wish I had the courage to go into the forest. Hello, Sorona. I have good news. I was able to provide your friend Mrs. Sprottle with some hawk lumps for her Wigamel potion, and I found your box of letters. Oh, thank you. I knew you were the one to ask. I'm glad I could be of help. Mrs. Sprottle sends her best. Don't know what I'd have done without her and Aiden. Thank you, again, for helping her. And for returning this box of letters. It's nice to reflect on good memories. I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realized that she didn't know the poachers had her egg, so when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. Well done. You certainly know what you're doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's all right. I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here? You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. That sounds straightforward enough. We should be in and out. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. Well then, 
Let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough. I know. She is above us. She did make it home soon. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragon. must be worried sick, wondering what happened to her egg. For what it's worth, she doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Let's hope it stays that way. At least until we've done what we came to do. Revelio. Eyesight is. I beg your pardon. I don't imagine the poachers fed her well. And from a distance, we probably look exactly like she Hebrideans love sheep. What just how oh, lucky for us. Domain. She'll make sure we know it. Keep at it. We've just got to make it to the next. We're not oh, to she warm isn't making welcome. it easy. It's a little too warm, if you ask me. I don't suppose she listened to reason. I'd normally try, but we're well past that. <laughs> Here broken. Akia, repair her. Now, if we just return her egg, we can hope to make it out without too much fuss.
was brilliant. And did you see how clever? She left us perfectly unharmed. Creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize. That's what Gran always says. The important thing is that we survived it. And we returned her egg. Thank you for doing this with me. Wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again. Shall we head back? I'm ready if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. How could I have been so blind? Sentinels of Nebulach, a sickle, a galleon? Never seen such an unruly garden. So wonder we're not overrun with gnomes. Let him.